Hey y'all, so today I got something, another project that I um, am going to attempt to do. But with all the research that I've done, I think I can do it. Um, so my next door neighbor, she uh, is redoing her whole room, her, um, her guest room. She has a quilt that was made by uh, uh, another quilter and uh, a long time ago and the materials is made from her grandmother's um, uh, clothes like a memory like a memory uh, quilt and it's really really nice um, I'll go ahead and show you all that I'll, I'll see if maybe I could take a picture of it or something so but anywho um, what uh, I am going to do because uh, with her she's like oh it's kind of small you know for the bed you know can you make it bigger can you do something else with it and I was like yeah sure so what I'm pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it out cut out the, the you know the big blocks um, add some border put some cornerstones in there um, stagger them give it another look a different design and with the parts that I'm going to be um, adding on, I'm going to be putting it, I'm going to be using it at, um, as the same concept as a quilt as you go method. So I think it'll work out. I think I think I got it. I think I got it the way that I want it. So I did the draw. Here's my awesome thing. I can't even think of my word, dry erase board. But anyways, so this is how her quilt looks like right now. So I just put it, the stars, that pretty much represents the, the blocks. They're, um, they're carpenter wheel stars. And, uh, and so right now they're just all like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them out, separate them, and put it three in a row, two in a row with two pinwheels three in a row two in a row two pinwheels and three three in a row so this one has 20 stars and this is uh, 13 stars I don't know why they put thir uh, 31 and uh, and then of course these are going to be the borders uh, the little border so it's going to look like a brick it's going to be the brick type and um, so I'm pretty excited to to um, go ahead and do that and um, I don't know if I would call this a tutorial or just kind of just watching how I do it. Um, but if you can get any tips or pointers or anything like that that I'm doing, you know, obviously feel free to take it and put it in your toolbox and just kind of go from there. Um, uh, I know the main thing that you would need to know is what is your measurement on you, the quilt now or whatever blocks that you have and how big do you want it like that's one thing that I've been thinking about how big do you want it uh, I actually need to go downstairs go measure my my bed because she wants it like really really long to where you know it, it goes to the floor so that way um, uh, she doesn't have to use any bed skirts pretty much a king size is what I'm thinking of um, and uh, and that's like literally out of my comfort zone so this is definitely gonna be a, a, a challenge I've never done quilts as you go uh, I mean not I'm sorry uh, yeah quilts as you go all right I don't know um, I know it's the one where you sash blocks that's already made um, I've seen I've seen some videos. I thought that's what they're called, quilts as you go. But now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, it is quilts as you go. Yeah, quilts as you go. Um, putting the blocks together, thing, technique, thing. Um, I I I really haven't done that, but I think I can do it. Um, let me see. So those are the two main things right there. Um, making a king size I've never made a king size the biggest was always a queen um, and then the uh, um, uh, putting together uh, the quilt as you go blocks so that's what I'm gonna do 
Uh, so you need to know your measurements. The other thing that you would need to know or what you want to do is uh, what colors or type of materials that you're going to be using and especially batting because obviously if you put in you know two materials together it's going to be kind of flimsy in between those when you bind it together because there's no batting so you want to try your best to match up the batting of what the blocks are you know that you have um, and then obviously if you don't remember or you don't know like me I don't know what the previous quilters did um, then um, you know try to match up as much as you can um, I was gonna just do a whole new uh, uh, batting underneath it but I was like no 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 I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, just add on the sashings only so that's what I'm gonna do instead uh, make it a little bit easier and a little bit more better I don't know um, but I am gonna redo the backing that's another thing I'm gonna do so redo the backing uh, the backing I'm just gonna do the 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 flip you know flip technique instead of doing a binding um, uh, I think that would be a little bit easier and a little bit more prettier um, so to me I, I like I, I like to do the flip technique better than the binding. Um, let me see what else. I guess let me see measurements, materials, batting. Um, how you're gonna end it? A uh, quilting. So I am not still not that good with free motion quilting. I'm not no Angela Walters. You know I'm not her <laughs> I don't think I would ever be as awesome and as good as her so um, but uh, well, my hair is already falling down but um, uh, uh, what I what I am going to do is do some uh, some quilting um, uh, with my walking foot do some straight line straight line quilting with my walking foot um, uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't really know anything else, but uh, I definitely need to get this done. I want to get this done because I have a whole bunch of other uh, things going on. Uh, I got uh, a whole bunch of other projects going on, um, and then of course, uh, if y'all, if y'all haven't looked at my my Queen Bee Facebook page yet um, uh, one of my uh, one of my um, cousins uh, he we just found out that he has um, plasma it, it's some type of it, it's a it's a, a cancer uh, lymph lymphoma cancer lymph no lymphoma cancer I don't know I, I gotta I still gotta look it up I'm still kind of rattled on that right now I didn't even I wasn't even able to sleep last night because of that so um, so I, I got something going on for them I got a project m me and my cousin uh, we've got a project going on um, to do stuff uh oh what happened oh nothing I'm doing a video real quick um, let me see what else Yeah, so I got a lot of a lot of things going on, uh, and I need to get done. Uh, Rattlesnake Roundup's coming up. Uh, March is just around the corner. Um, I've got I think five baby quilts, five quilts ready to go. Um, so yeah, I, I need to get on the ball. Uh, but anyways, let's let's get this ball rolling. Let's get this started. All right. Okay, so here is the the quilt that I am going to be working on. So pretty much what I'm going to do is take apart each block. Um, just go ahead and cut them off. Now, I know I'm going to be losing the points um, when I cut it. Uh, so that's another thing I'm like 
kind of thinking about also. Um, but I think, I don't know, I think it'll be okay. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I don't know. I think it'll be okay even without the points. I mean, because if you, where is it at? There it is. Because if you take a look, uh, a lot of these, actually, all of them, the points, there's no points. See? So, you know, maybe I can make it all even, you know, without the points. I don't know. I'm, like I said, I'm still working on it. So trying to figure out, you know, what to do. But that is the main thing. I am going to cut, you know, cut the whole block off, you know. And and I do know that I am going to lose the points. But I'll figure something out on the points part <clears throat> as I get to that. So, but this is it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. So let me uh, turn the the camera slash phone around and get this started. So the main thing that I will say is um, don't be scared. Don't be scared of uh, cutting it. Because if you're not ready for it, to be cut or to you know be modified then don't do it because then you're really gonna mess up so. and I extended my my uh, my table to do this so that way I have plenty of space because like I said this is literally outside my comfort zone never done this but we're gonna get this going so I'm gonna see if I can Okay, I was gonna do like a half uh, of a quarter inch seam allowance, but I just noticed that um, they're right on the butts of each other, so there's no way that I'm gonna be able to do that. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to just straight up cut it right there. I wonder if, how far is the seam? Let me see. Yeah, actually, I might have. I might be able to just yeah to just rip this. So, yeah. So just in case, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can bring you closer to what I'm doing. Let's see. Yee. Okay. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm taking this off, and look, there is the point right there. But they did not leave a seam allowance. It's very, very small seam allowance. So you know what? What I'm going to do is go ahead and do this. Oh, and just in case, if nobody has never really used this little contraption, this is called a seam ripper. And how to use it, the ball part actually goes inside. A lot of people does it like this, but it actually is supposed to be like this. And, and um, so that way it won't puncture 
the inside. So, just to give you a, a little demonstration, see? That is what is supposed to happen. Okay. See, there it is right there. There's, there's one of the points right there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there's one of the points right there. So, yep. So, she, uh, the, the quilter that did this, um, didn't leave any seam allowance, you know. Alright. Okay. So, there's that. Alright. Bring this over here. I feel like I'm like a, a doctor doing surgery. Dr. Canales. Oh, yes. You know, when I was little, when I was in, in high school, I told my counselor. And my counselor goes, oh, oh, so what would you like to be when you grow up? And I said, I want to be a cardiologist. She goes, oh, but you're too dumb for that. And that just tore me up. So what was the next best thing? The army. <laughs> but you know what? I love the army. I love it. You can see how I'm just, just going through it? You put the ball. That's how you do it. See? I know a lot of people doesn't like to use seam rippers. Because they're like, oh my gosh, it's so hard, it's so hard. No, it just you just gotta use the 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 equipment properly. Okay. Turn back around. There you go. So let's get this. How did she do this? Okay, I see how she did it. And I would never, never um, be mean about another quilter because uh, I wouldn't want anybody to judge me on my quilting. So, I, you know, everybody has their ways. And I really wouldn't be surprised at the reason why she did this because she probably messed up on one part. And she was like, you know what? Well, I'm just going to do it all the way through. So, because you know what? I probably would have done the same thing. You know, and then look, she, whoever, you know, that, that quilted this, you know, they did this lap. They probably had too much. It was like folding over or something. And because I know I'll, I'll do that too, you know, kind of flip it over um, if I have excess material. And sometimes that happens. Um, um, when you're, you know, when you're doing something like this, it'll, it'll happen, you know, so, alright, let's see, because now I'm getting into the other block, I'm just going to turn you this way, and, oops, where am I at, there I am, and I'm going to show you on this, on this one, one block right here, and then, of course, I'll anything that I do different on the other blocks, I'll, I'll show it. But pretty much, this is what I'm this is what I'm starting out with. Okay. So I'm pretty much just trying my best to at least get the the blocks away from from uh, the quilt. Like pick it, like pick it up, so that way I can just cut it with the rotary cutter, you know, um, um, the batting with the backing. That way I can save the the some of the star or something. And I got Asa baby downstairs. He's sleeping. He fell asleep in his um um. Uh, little bouncy roo thingy my little honeybee used to do that when she was a baby she would which all she wanted to do was be inside her little bouncy roo you just leave her in there and she'd be bouncing 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 go to sleep and then she wakes up bouncing 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 that's all she wanted to do my little honeybee that's all she did she was always in her bouncy roo all right 
See how easy that is? It's a whole lot better. Oops, hold on. Let's come over here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying my best to keep the phone on focus or on where I'm at. Okay, let's try this. Like I said, I'm going on. Uh oh. Speaking of the little baby. He just woke up. Turn it over. Alright. So far so good. Break this down. Okay, there it goes. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. Almost there. Move around a little bit. There I am. Okay. Let down, ball down. Sometimes I gotta pick it up like this just to try to get in a little bit up here. And, but I always bring it back down, the ball down. See? Like I said, I know a lot of people don't like to use rippers, but probably the reason why they don't like to use rippers is because they're not using it properly. Alright, here comes the crossroads. Okay, let's see. How does she do this? Okay, I see it. She sew this up. See. Mm. Oh, come on. Ball inside. There it goes. See? Oops, sorry. Okay. If y'all can still see, let me see. Will it? Yeah, I think, yeah, you can still see. Good, 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 good. Alright, now, let's see if I can move y'all. 
Hold on real quick. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, when you're doing this, don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to breathe. All right. And, you know, take your time. Always take your time. But definitely, if you're not ready to do this, if you're not ready to take apart a blanket or quilt, don't do it. Okay. Because, uh, if you don't have that confidence, that's the way I say it. If you're not going to have that confidence to do it, if you don't have that warm, fuzzy feeling, don't do it. Don't do it. Do it when you're ready. And for a while, because I've already had this quilt in my in my house for already a week. And I wasn't ready. I didn't have any plan. I didn't have no game plan. I didn't I really didn't know what I was going to be doing. And uh let me try to pick that. And then finally this weekend, you know, with all the stuff going on with my family and everything, that's when I had the idea. I was like, "Okay. I know what I'm going to do to this to the quilt now." So I, you know, drew it out on my dry erase board and uh, and just did it. And I was like, okay, I know how I'm going to do it now. Because at first, I was just going to get the rotary color cutter and then just start ripping through with everything. Cutting everything, losing the points, everything. But then after a while, I was like, well, how about I take that, you know, like pick up the block like this, you know, pick up pick up the block, cut the batting, and of course the backing, because I'm going to add more batting and backing, and then see what I can salvage with the real star, so, and like, look, obviously she did like a, look like a half inch seam allowance, that's why I would lose the points, so, actually, you know, like I said, I thought I was going to lose all the points, but I think I might save you know, the outside points. I'm not going to do these. Oops. The, hold on, where are we at? I'm not going to do these points. The one that's inside. I'm not going to do those. No way. Because then that's going to be even more work. I'm just going to do my part. There we go. Do my part. And uh, to make it look better. And... Uh, and then that's it. Okay. So more than likely what I'll do with this with this um um video is I'll post this up first, you know, me ripping through this. And then each each step that I do I'll I'll post that. So that way I'll I'll have, you know, like progress of what I'm doing. Um, and, uh, go from there. You know, because like I said, I'm pretty sure not very many people will do this. Hold on, let's see what's going on right here. There we go. But, yep, yo, the seam ripper is my friend. I, I care for my seam ripper. And, um. This seam ripper, this one right here that I'm using, is actually my sister-in-law's. And she said I can have it. Or I think she said I can have it. I hope she said I can have it. But the seam ripper that I had before, I could not find it. I could not find it for the longest, you know. And I and I always use my seam rippers. It's not because I'm always messing up. because I changed my mind. I am forever changing my mind on, on projects. And, um... Or if I see, like, one little mistake, or if I, you know, stitch too much in one little spot. Like, if there's three too many stitches, you know, uh, because I wasn't going fast enough, I'll rip it out. And, uh, I don't know if that's normal or not, but, uh, I know it's normal for me, because I'll rip, I'll rip it out, I don't care. I'm like, I, I can sew it again. Okay. And the one thing that I do like about this quilt 
was that it was hand hand quilted so it wasn't it wasn't um you know free motion quilting like uh like miss angela walters now that quilt i will not rip open because her quilts uh, i will not <laughs> but this one i will because i mean i'm pretty comfortable doing this one um but, uh, but yeah, there's no way that I would take out that those quilts, Angela Walters quilts. I would love to win one of her quilts or anything that she does like a giveaway. I always, I always sign up for those because I'm like, oh, I hope she calls me, I hope she calls me, I hope she, and then of course I don't. I never win anything. I never win anything, but that's okay. It's always fun to to play, to try. Maybe when I get more better, um, you know, get more um, subscribers, I'll, I'll, I want to do stuff like that. I want to give stuff away, too. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let me get on the other side of the, of the table. there. I'm almost done. Uh-oh, there goes my baby again. Oh, come on, dude. There it goes. Alright, okay. I got that open. Oops, hold on. Alright, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to uh, see if I can pin these, the flaps back. So I won't get the others. And, uh, and then I'll cut it with the rotary cutter right at right here on on this that way I can do that so let me go ahead and uh, get my pins so I could pin these out of the way like that and then like that okay so let me go ahead and do that real quick All the pinning is done for this block. Okay, and just to kind of show you what I did, um, if you can see here, I separated it, you know, to where it'll be like a channel. So it's like you see the batting all the way around. Okay, this is where I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna get my rotary cutter and cut that. Okay, and I saved, you know, the the points on it, I think, I think I got something going on. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. Okay? So let me go ahead and do do that real quick. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, cut this bad boy. Uh, just in case, I don't know if I had showed it earlier, but let me see if I can do this. Okay, so here's, here's the... Um, the uh, um, the the gap I don't even know how wide you want to call it the batting you know flipped everything over pinned everything which I hate pinning but I have to do it so and see that's pretty much what I've done right there so <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut all the way around with my rotary cutter let me set this back down let's see bring this down a little bit yeah. I'll just show like a little corner, but I'm pretty much going to do the whole, this to the whole thing. So, I'll get my rotary cutter. What the hell is my shit? Okay. I rearranged my room. So, 
cleaned it up, rearranged it. I got tired of going crazy. So, because I guess my kids don't know when to leave stuff alone. So, I just went on ahead and did everything. Okay, so I'm just going to try my best to keep everything in... And go ahead and cut it. I'm not really measuring like, you know, quarter inch or whatever. I'm just trying to get the block out. And I am cutting the backing as well. I am going to just uh, redo the backing too. So, Alright, let's see if I can move this a tad bit. Let's do that. Like I said, I'm just gonna kind of tuck everything in. Let's see, let's do this. And I'm just gonna do on camera just this square, and then because uh, pretty much I'll be doing the same thing to all the other ones, all the other squares. Oops, right, yeah, I did right. Okay, let me just do a quick trim right here. All right, let's move Doo -doo -doo. over here. All right, almost done. Just trying to keep it inside. my best not to cut material from underneath you know the, the material that I just pinned back okay. right now I'm not too concerned if it's straight or not because like I said it's just a batting you know and I'm just gonna add more batting and you know add everything else afterwards okay all right yay now let me get this stuff out, out of the way, and let me show you what I just did. Alright. <coughs> okay, so there it is. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that, the same thing to all the other, let me show you to all the other um, blocks that's on this quilt and since I already got some already um, pinned back you know let me just do that and uh, so so far I'm doing that so far I did this and then the next thing I'll do is uh, add the border you know like that binding um, adding the blocks the quilt as you go blocks so, I mean, this is pretty much quilted, yeah, so there you go. Um, so, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and post this video of how I just cut out, <laughs> how I mutilated a a, a quilt. <laughs> so, and then, uh, like I said, it's going to be a, a continuous saga, and we'll see how this journey goes. So, I will see you in the next. Peace.